Hey there, it's Todd Burrier from ToddBurrier.com and um, today we're going to talk about starting your leadership mindset from day one in network marketing regardless of the size of your goals. And it, so that almost might seem a little bit contradictory because it's a tendency for us to think that if we don't have big goals and we're not trying to make a giant splash, that leadership is not important. Well, the opposite is true because first we have to understand that we're always leading someone in life. Regardless of what we think, someone is is watching us. Someone is being influenced by us. Um, heck, if you're a parent, you're leading children. That's the, some of the most important people you can lead on the planet. But you're also leading other parents, and you're leading um, you're leading people you interact with the, in the community. You just don't, you have to you have to think that way to understand that. But but I digress a little bit. We're going to talk about specifically the the platforms that you're going to build your business from and. My, I love to teach leadership. It's, it is the thing that I just really juices me um, because I, I've seen the power of what happens when you learn to lead in the right fashion. And so the key to understanding that is that it's fundamental. It starts at the beginning. Right? It, it's a, it starts at the very beginning. It's not something that you decide to be, behave like a leader once you have built an organization. Now, you, you, you decide what your, what your governing core values and behaviors are, are going to be, and you build on that platform. That, that's essentially what it is. And so, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm just, you know, a, a tiny little nugget here. You know, I, I'm a regular guy. Um, that's why I have a, a passion for teaching everyday people. Um, yeah, it's great when I, I work with someone who is a superstar and watch them just absolutely explode when they learn new concepts that can help them utilize their gifts. But the truth is, there's a superstar in everybody. Everybody has a superstar in them. Everybody has their own set of gifts and passions and skills and affinities and, and knowledge. And really, they, they, everybody is, is who they should be and, and designed to make the kind of impact that, that they should make. Um, and you know, one of the biggest challenges people have when they first get into the industry is thinking, I'm not good enough, right? I'm not good enough. Who am I to go out and build this business? What do I know about this or that? What, right? That's normal chatter. It's, it's not healthy chatter, it's, but it's normal chatter that we can learn to overcome. And there's so many things that I'm going to be teaching as we go forward that will help you in all these different spaces. Um, but, today, but today, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a platform that is what I use as my platform to build a, a substantial, long-term, um, successful business in the industry. I've been full-time in the industry as I do this for over 27 years, right? So I know, I know very deeply how powerful this can be because you can live a life that is incredible. It's, it's an incredible life. And that doesn't mean you have to be rolling in money to live an incredible life. It, it's whatever that looks like. For you, and and again, I st I'm a regular guy. You know, I, I started, you know, dealing with a, a, a very low self-esteem. I'm a natural introvert. Um, I'm non-confrontational, and um, and all of my personality profiles say that my biggest fear is rejection. Um, I failed sales at every sales aptitude test I took when I was looking for jobs many, 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 many moons ago, um, and so. You know, yet I've had this wonderful career and I love to teach this business because I know what a game changer can be for anybody. And it doesn't matter who you are. You have what you need inside of you. So this is a little nugget. If anyone is trying to make you be someone you're not, right? If they're trying to shove you into a box and say that you have to do this thing a certain way, you need to step back and say, wait a minute, you mean I can't be myself? That doesn't mean you don't have to develop skills. It doesn't mean you have to, that that um, you don't grow. Have to grow yourself. That you do, right? But but you should be able to grow yourself, right? You should be able to grow yourself on top of who you are, right? And develop your unique self to be able to succeed in the business. And you can because that's that, that, the examples of that are everywhere around you. And I'm just throwing that nugget out. If someone is trying to make you behave in a way that doesn't fit who you are. They're trying to shove you into one square. So just so you know, in the big picture, that means the only people that will succeed in that way of working are people that fit in that square. 
that's a little limiting for something that's open for everybody on the planet, don't you think? Um, so you can, you can succeed being exactly who you are. You can just grow and develop into a better version. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you do that um, through my teachings and training. So one of the things that, that has been fundamental to me was the development of my own credibility. Not, not just with myself, because I needed that too, but out in the marketplace. And so this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about thinking leadership, thinking long term from day one. Because what that means is that you're going to operate from a long-term perspective. So what, what kind of things does that mean? Well, if you think about it, if you're operating from a long-term perspective, would you do something that would give you benefit in the short term that would hurt your reputation in the long term? No. Would you do something dishonest? No. Would you do something where you were really pressuring or pushing or making someone feel uncomfortable? No. Right? Because those things wouldn't be in your long-term interest. Right? So... I'm going to teach you fundamentals, right? There, there's tons of great teachers out there, so I'm, I'm one voice. I'm pretty good at this. I've done it for a long time, and what I teach, anybody can do, and what I teach fits any system, right? It doesn't matter what your marketing plan is. It doesn't matter what your system is. None of that matters because what I teach are underlying fundamentals that are specifically relatable to the people side of this work, which is the glue, right? The people are the glue. Marketing plans don't build you a long-term business and neither do products. It's about people, always about people. And, and so I'm going to give you a little concept to start and we'll I'll build on this um, in, in, in future videos as, as we go forward. So it, it's really about developing your credibility. So let's see how, I'll see how this looks here. Good. Okay. So I call this a credibility platform. I don't know who came up with this. It wasn't me. Um, I first learned this through John Maxwell, who I studied at length. Um, and it's someone I highly suggest that you learn from. Um, but it is absolutely a powerful platform. I teach this platform in, in major corporations when I'm teaching traditional businesses because it's it everything builds on this platform. So everything you learn in your networking business, everything you do is going to be affected in and of this platform. So this is essentially your credibility. Okay, so your credibility is, is what you're, you're growing, right? So when I started in this business, my credibility was zero. I had zero credibility. It doesn't mean I wasn't nice and I didn't have friends. It meant I really had zero credibility. And so let me, let me make you understand how that happens. And so the, the point here is it doesn't matter what you perceive your credibility to be or what others perceive it to be when you first start. Because by doing the right things in the right way, you will grow your credibility. And the more your credibility grows, the more opportunities you have in life with people. Period. It's, it's a no-brainer connection. So, on the left side of this curve is what we call competence. Okay? So, competence, the actual ability to do the work, is on the left side of the curve. On the bottom of the curve is character. Now, in leadership, I teach the extension and the application of this. But right now, I'm not teaching leadership. I'm just teaching to think like a leader might think and understand from a long-term perspective what you're doing even in day one. Okay? So, if you think about these two things, competency and character, they are perceptions. Right? They are perceptions. Yes, there's certainly a truth to them, but as it relates to everybody else, they are perceptions. Because people perceive you as being whatever they perceive you as being until you prove them right or wrong, okay? So, understand this. The reason I can say when I started I had a zero credibility is that think about it in this context. You know people, right? You know people in your life who are very competent at something. Maybe they're highly skilled at whatever it is that they do, okay? So, they're very high on the competency chart but you don't trust them, right? You don't trust them. You, they, they, their character to you is questionable, right? So while they're all the way up here, they are all the way here on the character curve. And so if that is the case, right? If the case is that they are low on the character curve and, and a zero, then their total effect of their credibility on you is zero because even though you might respect their ability to do, someone, to do something, you don't trust them. So would you work with that person? 
Probably not, right? Probably not. Okay, so flip it, flip it, and think about it this way. Now you have someone else who is, has what you consider to be impeccable character, right? They, they are just a good-hearted person. They have optimal integrity. Um, you can rely on them to be there if you need them. So they have, they have a lot in the character area. But they're incompetent in the work. You, you have seen them try to do whatever work it is they're doing, and they're incompetent in that space. And so while they are high on your character chart, and you love to be around them, would you work with them? Probably not, right? right? Because if you were trying to accomplish something, especially if you had something at stake, they wouldn't be the person you would want to work with if you saw them as incompetent. So they would still be a zero on the credibility curve, right? There has to be a measure of both to develop credibility. So when I started in this industry, and I, I thank my mom for this, I, I am by nature a kind person. And I am incredibly honest, honest to a fault. I mean, and that, that is something I've been known for since I was a kid, is, is being honest. Um, I got in a lot of trouble in my life for being too honest. <laughs> but you know what? I'd rather get in trouble for being too honest than the opposite, right? This is just a little nugget. But if you're always honest, you never have to remember what you said, ever, which is good for me because I never remember what I said. I'll be doing a training with a group or I'll be in the middle of something and someone will say, Would you, can you repeat that? And I'm like, I have no idea what I just said. As a matter of fact, I won't know what I said on this until after it's over. Okay, so, <clears throat> so I, I, I was known as someone with okay character. Now, it hasn't been, hadn't been tested on the deep end because people don't really know that about you until they work with you for a long time. But I, I mean, I was known as someone who was nice and, and someone who was honest. Um, and I've always been respectful. I mean, my attitude is, hey, you do what you do, I'll do what I'll do, and we don't have to agree. You know, it's, that's what makes the world go around, right? Some people like green and some people like yellow, right? You know, I've, one of my children loves watermelon and another one doesn't, right? I mean, I mean, so what, right? I mean, that's what makes the world go around. It's not respecting someone's difference. Pooh, that's where you got a problem. So. I had some of this, right, but not a lot of people knew it too well because I'm an introvert, right? So if all people knew as well, he seems to be nice. I, I never heard him talk much, but he seems to be nice. Right? <laughs> so I had some character stuff, but competency-wise, I hadn't accomplished anything. Right? I hadn't accomplished anything of significance in anyone's eyes. As a matter of fact, most of the people that knew me knew me from my younger days when I was a little wild. Um, you know. I, and spent a lot of time doing certain stuff, right? So bottom line is I didn't have a lot of credibility business-wise here. So me coming to someone in the early days of, of the industry and saying, hey, let me tell you about an opportunity, people were like, well, well, why would I want to listen to you? <laughs> Seriously, why would I want to listen to you? So I had to, I mean, that was hard, right? I had to go through everything everybody goes through times 10 in my own. Okay, the broadcast got paused and my, my phone decided to pause me. Um, so I'm, I'm out of that, so here we go. So bottom line is, I didn't have a lot of comp, uh, 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 credibility from a competency perspective. So I started with zero. So how did I overcome that? I just started. Remember, right, you're working in a business that relates to human nature. The numbers are human nature, right? For every 10 people, human nature says, and you can see this everywhere, and I'll cover it in many different things that I do. But for every 10 people who have a need, Right? Whoever, every 10 people have an acknowledged need, two are ready to act. That is a human nature statistic. I'm not going to change human nature. You're not going to change human nature. Who cares about changing human nature? Let's work with human nature. And so I got that early on. Right? I mean, there's a lot to my story that I'm not sharing right now. Um, but I, I got that, hey, I just had to talk to a lot of people and overcome my own stuff and, and to find the people who would be open despite who I was. And that's what happened is I talked to enough people to begin sponsoring people. But the key is how, right? The key is how. Not by my fancy language. I didn't have fancy language. I wasn't skilled at manipulation or technique. I, I didn't have that. Simple. See, I focus down here operating in a certain way because I think long term. Right? I don't do stuff for overnight. I don't, I don't believe in overnight. I'm, when I do something, I'm going to do it and whatever it takes, that's what I'm going to do. 
because I know that that's what it takes to succeed in anything. That's what it'll take to succeed in your network. You don't know what your path is going to look like. What you do know is that the process of the work works. It works. And so it's like the farmer planting the seed. He, he doesn't question it. He just shoves it in the ground, right? He tills, he shoves it in, he nurtures it, and then poof, he's got a crop. Why? Because why? he doesn't question it. You know, some of the seed won't work and some will. Our industry is exactly the same, right? So three underlying keywords. One is being nice, being honest and being respectful. See, if you understand that most people aren't going to be ready to join you the first time, that's just the reality of it. Even, even if they have a need and they've identified that they have a need. And there's a million reasons for that. One is they don't believe you're going to be doing it because their friend Mary and Bob and Jim and Ted, they all got into a home business and they were going to get rich and then three weeks later they were doing something else. Right? I mean, that's pretty normal. And you say, that A, they don't believe that you're going to do it in many cases. And B, they don't believe in themselves. They got their own stuff. They got their own voices like you do in your head that are telling you you can or you can't or whatever that is. But they got all, all the different reasons, right? Maybe they got issues going on in their life. They got different timing. So all the different reasons um, are normal. Well, whatever they are, they are. It doesn't even matter what they are. It's just that that's what is. And so when you think about it, if you're approaching people in a nice, honest, respectful way, right? And that is the platform of your behavior. And that is a platform. Matter of fact, I'll just say this now. If that platform of behavior doesn't work for you, I definitely will not be a trainer for you. That's just the reality. I will not be your guy because that is core values for me. It, it, you have to treat people that way because this is how you build something for life. If you're trying to just make something big happen in the next 12 months and you don't care about the rest of life and you don't care who gets hurt and you don't care who you run over, I'm definitely not your guy. But if you care about building relationships and building your reputation such that you'll build something for life that's massive and substantial and significant, or even if you just want to build something little but you want it forever, follow what I teach because this is how you do it. Um, so these three fundamental platforms, even when someone says no, the experience for them was positive, right? So they will remember, wow, Todd didn't pressure me. He was really nice about it. You know, and, and actually when you treat people this way, when they say no, when you walk away, they're thinking, I wonder, I wonder what I missed. I wonder if I missed something. I wonder if he's actually onto something. Whereas if you, if you were disrespectful, for example, right? You, you tried to trick on me, you tried to do something and you were disrespectful, and then they fended you off, right? Because they're going to resist that. Then when you walk away, they're going to be like, I won. I won. Yes, I won. And so essentially, I just treated people this way because I couldn't demonstrate competency to them yet. But what they didn't know is that just by working the numbers, right? First of all, I learned to get competent pretty fast, right? You get competent pretty fast, right? There's not a lot of competencies. I'll cover them in another video. But there's not a lot of competencies to, that you have to get good at right away to begin building something because it's just really about touching the people that are ready for what you have to say. Um, but I did get better, right? And, and relatively fast, I got better. But the point was that because of the way I operated, right? Nobody was out there talking about, hey, be careful of him um, or, hey, watch it if he calls. Right? They, they would just, if, if my name happened to come up, which it didn't for a long time because I had to build something and become something before you're noticeable, um, then, then people say, oh yeah, that's a, he's a nice guy. Yeah, I, you know, I, I didn't really check out what he was doing, but you know, he, he, we did talk and it was a nice conversation. I don't even know what he's doing. Right? Right? So when you circle back to those people, which you will, and I'll teach this in, in later videos, when you circle back, People are wide open to you. I sponsored so many people in my career on the fourth or fifth or sixth time I approached them because they're never afraid, ever. And a matter of fact, what happens in this curve, this is a little trick, it's a little shortcut. It's not even a trick. I call it a trick. I don't even know why I call it a trick. It's just a thing. It's just a reality. It's, you call someone the first day and let's say that they perceive you have no credibility. Yeah, right? That, that's just perceived. Let's just say it because... That's how you're going to feel anyway in a lot of cases, right? doesn't matter if it's true or not. If you feel that way, it's true for you. And six months later, you call them again, right? You, try, you treated them nice and honest and respectful from day one. 
And now six months later, you're a little more skilled. You've probably sponsored several people. You've got a little bit of activity in your business. Some things are moving upward, right? Nobody expects you to be a millionaire yet, right? I mean, people, people plunk down a half a million dollars for a franchise and they get their money back in 10, 15 years. Okay, so people start businesses all the time where they put a hundred grand into them and fail in three to five years, right? That's that's the the norm, right? That's not the abnorm. That's the so nobody expects you to call them up and go, well, yeah, I'm making fifty thousand a month now. Want to get in? That they don't expect that, right? What they expect to hear is, hey, I'm still doing it and it's starting to grow and I'm having some success and I'm having fun and I'm learning a lot of great stuff. And hey, do you want to look at it now? Right? That's a whole different conversation. That's just being real. Like the everyday people real so people can connect. And what happens when you make that phone call again? And, and then there's a, there is a systemic way to do it, right, from a, from a time perspective that I'll teach, right? I mean, so let's say it's six months to, when you call this person back. You instantly have moved to here on the, on the credibility curve with them. Why? Well, first of all, you, you're maintaining being nice, honest, and respectful, Right? Now, the second thing you've added to this is you have stickability, right? You have integrity of decision. You are doing something for six months that this person's never done. They now have respect for that alone. And the fact that you're still doing it demonstrates you've increased some competency. And this person's like, hmm, hmm, still doing it. Maybe I should check it out. They probably still have the need, right? They probably still have the need. And so everything you do, if you operate under these behaviors, you will immediately start to demonstrate character and you will immediately begin to grow credibility. And I, trust me on this because I, companies pay me a lot to teach their leadership and I don't even teach them leadership in the first four to five sessions because I focus on the personal power of building this part because you can't lead without credibility, but you can't just step in as a leader and say, well, I'm the leader. Nobody cares. <laughs> they say, show me, show me who you are, right? Show me who you are. People don't even care what you've done. They want to know who you are, right? That's the, that's the power. That's where the glue comes from. And the, the power to this thing right here, anybody, anybody can do it. Anybody. So I teach really fundamental stuff. Yeah, I, I know all the complexities, but I teach fundamental things that are built on this platform. Everything I teach fits on building your business and credibility on the same, at the same time so that over time you will build whatever it is you're trying to build in the right way, right? In the right way. And you will attract people that you want to be around. So... That was today's lesson. I hope you found value in it. Um, please share my videos with people that, that are trying to build a business in the industry. I, my passion is teaching. It's, it's what I love to do. Um, so, you know, come, come down. I'm going to be doing these videos on a very frequent basis. So, um, you know, share them. Uh, send me messages. Let me know if there's something I can do to help. Make sure you click um, the button to go to, depending on where this video is, to... Um, Go sign up for my blog, um, I, and I, I teach leadership. I teach fundamentals on the blog, um, and and uh, and share. You know, help me help a lot of people because we have a great, great industry, and we need to get the message out of of working in the right way and helping people of all shapes, sizes, ages, demographics. It doesn't matter any place in the world who has access to an opportunity to help them use this great thing to help their families and help their life. Okay, thank you so much for your time. And uh, hey, I'll see you on the next one.